Hello everyone and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. This is episode 21. Last time we entered the Ringed City for the first time. And uh, to say it was interesting uh, would be an under understatement. This place is absolutely wild. <laughs> There's there's a lot going on here. There's a lot to unpack here, uh, but we do have um, a dragon to fight. Uh, we spoke to um, spoke to a, a lovely lady Shira at the uh, at the church, who told us about this guy, Medea, who's very angry. And like we got we went through. We went through that door last time, and I think I might have taken a wrong turn, um, or got lost in there, and I couldn't figure out how to get through, but it certainly looks like we should be able to go through there to get up there. Um, so that's what I'm going to push through and try and do this episode, because I'm not sure if there's another location, because we couldn't really get over there on that bridge. That's another possibility if I need to look around, but we're going to... Dodge roll through the fire. We're not going to dodge roll through the fire, but we're going to certainly take the full force of that fire. And then I'm going to drop down here before I get the next lot of fire. Oh, that was close. <laughs> and then I'll make it through the door with my RB button doing me wonders. Just when you think it's uh, playing nice, it acts up once again. Nope, stop that. I'm getting, um, nope, nope. <laughs> now, the way to do this is this staircase gives way. So I don't know how to get to that, uh, I don't know how to get to that lizard. But uh, it's certainly not easy. We'll, we'll try. So I think... Because we just work our way back up again. Take on a couple of these. Oh. Okay. Take on a couple of these bad boys. Oh, actually, there's an item down there. Ooh. Okay, maybe I do have to, maybe we do go down. I need to find another spot to go down. If I deal with these guys. So if we run back up here, here's a drop. That's the entrance, so we're... <laughs> Oh. Was this what I was missing this whole time? Oh, okay, yeah. I was just missing a drop. I thought that was a barrier that was just, you know, environmental rubble that you couldn't climb over. The answer was right in front of our eyes the whole time. Okay. I see. We're going to keep dropping down. And there's the item that we saw. Wonderful. A blessed gem. Uh, and then I think there's a doorway there. Oh, there's a chest here. It is a mimic because I'm seeing the... <laughs> I'm like looking for the chain and then I realize it's breathing. It's breathing. Yep. Uh, this is a bit of a difficult spot. But I'm dead. Oh, it actually didn't kill me. Holy shit, it actually didn't kill me. What a joke. Oh no. Ooh. Oh. Fuck you. Mutually assured destruction. No. Oh my god, I actually didn't die by the mimic. It's a Christmas miracle. It's a Christmas miracle. Wonderful. That's great news. Now I have to do that all over again and see what this goddamn mimic gives me. So, uh, because the mimic fell off with me, 
It died. Ring of the Evil Eye plus three. Ha <laughs> ha! Mutually assured destruction, pal. We both lost. <laughs> we both lost that fight. Actually, you know what? This looks like it might be a way to go, so I might... Oh, and that's where our first drop is. Okay, I might, in that case, go all the way down to the bottom and see what's down there before we go up this stairway. Uh, here. Oh, okay. It was just an empty room. And we can drop no further. Okay, that was actually legitimately nothing. Wonderful. All right, let's move on. Let's get out of here. I think, you know, it makes logical sense for there to be a bonfire after escaping from, um... Oh, wait, I've missed a spot. Yes, after escaping from... or making it past Medea's flame and through here. I'm a, I'm a say... Those charged attacks coming in clutch. But there should be a bonfire. Maybe. Oh, maybe not yet. Ah, oh, this is where the lizard was. Okay. Lizard has already run away. Ah, ha, ha, ha. There we go. The problem now is that lizard is going to turn around and run the other way, isn't it? Oh, it's not even there. What the hell? Where'd it go? Huh. Another time then. I'll have to leave the area and return, I guess. Um. Cool. What's this bonfire called? Because I was not paying attention. Shared Grave. The Shared Grave bonfire. Oh, we're okay. And. Cool. Look at that. So Medea is... Oh god, I hear him! <gasps> I thought I was... That's not what I expected, but I heard him, so I was like, I was expecting the whole pathway to get coated in flame, but not to him, not for him to be on the ground. Ooh. Now we do still have flame stone plate ring on. Oh, how are we gonna... Oh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know about this one, Chief. I mean, we can try. Yes! Okay. Are we fighting this? Bad boy, let's go! Why don't you have a health bar? Like a boss health bar? What's going on? Why? What? Oh my god. Oh, I'm gonna get hit off the cliff. Okay, we're good. Bud. Why doesn't he have a... Oh god. Oh no. What? So Medea's not even a boss. He's just a big old dragon. Okay. Oh! That's a punch! Oh! And that's a scrape. Okay. Hold on. I need to drink, my boy. My boy! I need to drink! Oh, boy. Ooh! That man has black flame. And now my soul is there. <laughs> oh. He said, hey. Wanna see fire? Wanna see dark fire? Great. Oh, hi, bud. Ugh, let's just take the full brunt of that first one. Yep. And then... And then... Uh... Alright, bitch, let's go. Let's dance. How's that? Oh, he didn't like that. Oh, he didn't like that! He didn't like that! I actually think I should dance over this side. Oh, I should get over here, I think. Oh, no. Yep. Oh my god, stay away from the edge, man. <gasps> Stop! Oh my god, this is screwy. I'm already been pushed over the wrong side. Oh, 
Holy shit, dude. Okay. You might not be a boss, but he's a big boy. And... Avoid that shit. Okay, look, bud. You're strong. And I'm just swinging my sword desperately at this point. Oh, fucking god. <laughs> Holy crap. Ooh, he doesn't do black flame if you do it that way. Ooh, he's taking a chomp. Oh, he's, he's hungry. Nope, 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 nope. Gosh. Sprint, you idiot! This dude is badass! <laughs> Holy crap, he's mad. What are these attacks, homie? Holy crap. This dude's pissed. Oh, I think I'm dead. I'm, I'm in his hand. I'm stuck in his hand. Okay, we're out. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Right, I'm going to go over here. Let's take five. Let's take five. I'm, I'm panicking. So. Oh no! <laughs> no! I didn't think he could get me behind that fucking shit! No! I didn't think he could get me behind there. Oh my god, buddy! Holy crap! How are we- are we- how are we doing? Oh! Quick, get him in the face! Yeah! Ooh! hi -ya! Holy shit! We killed him. We killed Medea. How cool is that? <laughs> oh my god! That's fucking amazing. That was really cool. I mean, to sum that up, that's really cool, right? Shaira? Shira? I can't. I can't remember her name, it's been a while since we spoke to her. I think it was Shira. Um Shira hyped him up way too much. What is that? Um Shira hyped up Medea way too much. <laughs> yeah, can you go kill this dude? I'm like, cool. That's probably gonna be the big boy boss, like Calamy. Turns out, just an angry an angry dragon. But oh, he was fine. Why oh. did no no no? <laughs> um. Okay. Well, now I don't know what to think because I thought I was thinking Medea would be like the big boy at the end. What do you reckon? Nope. I was thinking Medea might have been like the big boy at the end. Which means there's something else at the end. Oh! Oh no! He's fucking... I wasn't ready! I didn't think that would work. Get out of here. It's Beyblade! Oh, it's... get out! Oh boy! I love that. One more? Oh! <gasps> Lightning out one more? Okay. Dude! Just roll it. I I love it when Dark Souls has consecutive illusory walls. It's just like, <gasps> and again? And again? And again? Hell yeah. Uh, what did we just get? Lightning Arrow. The few female knights who served in the Age of the Gods used this miracle for dragon slaying. Draw a lightning bow to fire a lightning arrow. The lightning arrows offer a great improvement uh, to the range of spears and were said to have been used to pierce the eyes of dragons from afar. But remember, beautiful stories always marked by embellishment. Nice. Pierce the eyes of dragons from afar. That's badass. Alright. You sure there's no more? Yeah, when an illusory wall reveals a Beyblading turtle, there's always something more, right? We got it.
Yo. How do I? Huh. Give me. Look at this statue, though, dude. Let's get a look at this. Hmm. I want to know what that is. This. I mean, it looks slightly. I mean, it looks slightly different. I don't know if that's. I don't know if that's Gwyn. I think it might be. We don't have anything of his, but we've got Nameless King's Crown. What does that look like? That's got a few things on it. Alright, so he's not holding... Hmm. He's not holding a crown that, uh, of Nameless King. I don't know. But also I don't know how it... Like, does this platform get lowered or can we raise... Oh, hang on. It looks like we might be able to raise the platforms, I think. Because look at the floor. Can't just destroy it. God damn it. I honestly feel like I'm close enough. Alright, we're going to have to come back to this later. Oh, fuck me. Alright, big boy, let's go. <laughs> okay. Is he dual wielding? He is. He's dual wielding... This man puts me to shame. He's got, like, what? <laughs> 100 strength. Look at that. Oh, oh my god. Oh, my... Dude, he's using them... He's using them together. That is the greatest thing I've ever seen. Are those dragon swords or some shit? Because they be breathing fire. Oh. I... No. <laughs> I want his I want his sword so bad. Oh my Jesus. Can I get a backstab? No! <laughs> no! No! Oh my Oh I got punished so badly for early dodging there. Oh I got punished. I got punished by the strong man. I'm punished by the strong man. <laughs> well then. Let's try again. Where am I? Okay, here. Good. Literal nightmare scenario. The, the dragon respawns. I'm so excited for Elden Ring. Because Elden Ring's going to allow me to mount a horse... I'm still thinking about that, uh, that gameplay reveal trailer, guys. I'm so excited for Elden Ring. So I can ride a horse around this area. Instead of rolling. That's gonna be great. It's also really nice to, like, watch a trailer for an upcoming game. That I get to share that excitement with you. That was a really nice, uh, that was a really nice trailer reaction that we all, that I put on the channel as well. Elden Ring hype. Hopefully there's no dual wielding great sword. Ah! Dudes. <laughs> what the fuck is that? That's ridiculous, son. There we go. There we go! Okay, how about that? Oh! How's about that? Oh my god. Please give me a sword. <gasps> yeah! Oh, they're paired great swords, are you kidding me? He did give them to me, I'm so happy. 
C scaling. Hmm. Yeah, scales with intelligence and faith slightly as well. Holy crap. Can we put a heavy gem on that bad boy though? So it scales with strength. Paired black great swords wielded by the ringed knights. The arms of early men were forged in the abyss and betray a smidgen of life. For this reason, the gods cast a seal of fire upon such weapons and those who possess them. Okay, but like... Holy crap. Oh, there you go. Okay. Use the left trigger. Can I do combos? No? Yes? So the weapon art is embering. <laughs> Yo. That's fucking amazing. It's so unresponsive. You know how long it takes? I don't know what this... Oh no, hang on, it's my stamina. <laughs> I'm like, this, the delay of my attack is so long. Not even looking at my stamina bar out of sheer excitement. That is absolutely ridiculous, dude. Can we do the front flip like he did? Ritual Spear Fragment. A Ritual Spear Fragment. Alright, where's that? Is that a... What's a fragment? So I don't think it'd be a weapon. Hang on. Key items? Nope. Normal item? Uh... Yes. An online play item. A fragment of the matching ritual spears once held by the knights of Princess Filianor. They are the namesake of the Spears of the Church. When Spears of the Church face unduly treacherous foes, this allows them to draw upon former majesty and summon a row of upward thrusting ritual spears. Ooh. It says, because it's an online play item, and it says the Spears of the Church. I'm assuming Spears of the Church is an online covenant. That's cool. <gasps> Jesus! Now well, miss input. God damn it! <laughs> I almost just rolled off to my death. It's not, not gonna be the first time that that happens. I almost just ran off to my death there. My God! Get a grip, man! Get a grip. I'm getting too excited. All right. Um, well, I mean, there's no, no harm, no foul in at least trying this jump, right? We can just land on the... Nice, we just land on the ground. Yep, I'll take it. Nothing else? Okay. This doesn't look like it could be in any capacity an illusory wall. No. <clears throat> Gotta try it. Alright, I can just drop down. Lovely. Can we go up there? I'm still, like, I was still thinking we'd, um, oh, oh, so the Divine Spear Fragment was behind, this was what we were looking at before. Okay, so this is the, okay, this is the Covenant, right? Yeah. And we can offer the Spear, okay, cool. Makes sense. All right, it is a Covenant, great. I'm convinced that we're going up there, because look at that door. That door is, like, not, like, a background environment. That door looks like it moves, baby. How the hell are we getting up there, though? I guess we could get flown or dragged there by, um... What are they called? Like, those... The little demon boys. But there's still so much of this place. Look how big this is. Look at that. There's just something really beautiful about this color scheme as well. Like... The way that the green complements sort of like the orangey copper tones of the Ring City just looks gorgeous. It's great. It, give, it really gives like that abandoned and overgrown feel.
by the king's decree. Done. I didn't know that would interrupt the dialogue. Fuck. I'm an idiot. No. Oh my god. I'm so dumb. I didn't think that that... Oh man. I just wanted to... Turn back. Unknowing visitor. Cool. <laughs> By the king's decree. No! Alright. I did miss that. I did miss that dialogue. I'll have to... Um, it's alright. After we're done with the game, I will watch this and see what he says. I'm sorry, guys. That was That's my fault. Just trying to... Anyway, let's ignore the turn back. Oh. Okay, so... Some... I'm assuming it's going to be... A big dude in, like, a suit of armor. Because that sounded like a... And like an echoing, like a, it sounded like he was like a voice come like echoing within a suit of armor type voice. I feel dumb for interrupting that dialogue. Um, we got some ringed knight statues, but yeah, I'll I'll look up that dialogue so we can actually get that properly. Um, in fact, after this fight, I might even get my mods to send me. A transcript of what he says <laughs> and that we can just pretend that never happened oh that's the voice of a tall dude judicator argo Can I kill you now? Are we are we fighting? Oh wait, that's the painting guardian. Oh, okay, we're not fighting the. Okay, uh, hold on a minute. Oh. Half-Light Spear of the Church. Okay, so we weren't fighting the big dude. Judic Judicator Argo? half a uh, Dude, overwhelming, but let's go. Oh, that attack was nuts! How many attacks does this Half-Light have? Has a Darkness Sword. Uh... That thing. Oh god. Oh! Those things. S lightning spears that come out of the ground. What? Oh, for god's sake! Oh my god, dude. Alright. Oh, come on, big boy. Let's go. You want to dance? Oh, God. Shit. No, he's going to heal. God. Goodbye. So glad that we're not fighting that big dude because I thought that we were going to have to deal with him summoning like all those archers and stuff. So I'm grateful that we're fighting just a person, but it's a weird boss fight. Gotta say, challenging. Especially that thing. Oh, I took the brunt of that, didn't I? I've got a bunch of arrows in me. <laughs> you you hit hard, don't you? You got quite the arsenal. Holy crap. Alright, we're almost there. Thank you. Oh my god. Filianor's Spear Ornament. So we're not getting souls anymore. 
That's interesting. Why painting guardians? That's wild. Uh, what did we just get? Key item? Or... Hang on, it's a... There it is. Filianor Spear Ornament. The Spear of the Church watch over the princess's slumber, and this serves as proof of their fulfillment of their duty. The embellished gold cloth is woven with a crest of young grass. The princess knights proudly displayed these precious favors, which were most often seen swaying from their identical ceremonial spears. Okay, ah, uh, this is what we give to the... because it's in the same group as these. All right, so we give that to the thing outside, but this allows us to what? Invade someone's world as a spear of the church? That seems to be... That seems to be the case. Well, all right then. Where's my bonfire? I defeated the boss. Where's my bonfire? I'll make my own bonfire. All right, it's probably through the door. Oh, Judicator Argo. Okay. There was a lot just being thrown at us there. Confused the hell out of me, but that's fine. I assume... We might not have seen the last of Judicator Argo, though, because he did just decide to disappear and was still talking shit from a distance. Oh, that looks like one. There's my bonfire. Thank you. Alright. And there's a thing in there. Great. Let's go back to Firelink, because I have souls to spend. Oh, we're in the Church of Filianor. There you go. Wild. All right. So, is Princess Filianor here? Is Princess Filianor here? I guess so. Ashen one for the Lord Link. Very well. Then top hake now. Um, we're really just kind of focusing on vitality, really, at this point. Ashen. Thank you. And then leftover souls get dumped into our lovely handmaiden to give us some cool stuff. Uh, have you got anything from the fight that I just did? Doesn't look like it. No. Nope. Okay. Um, let's get. I uh, can't really afford much of it. Let's start buying the dancer gear. Ashen. Great. Uh, travel back to the Church of Filianor. So Spear of the Church was not only a uh, covenant, but it's also related to a boss battle. Has that happened before? Has that happened before? I don't know if we've if we faced a boss that's tied to a covenant. I don't think so. I'm not sure. We going up. We going up. Wonderful. Where's that place? It's over there in the distance. Thank you. But look at this, though. Like, look how much higher up this place goes. Oh, uh, Princess! Sleeping Beauty, Princess Filianor. We're in your church, are we not? Your sleep has been disturbed. <gasps> it is. There you go. Church of Filianor houses our Princess Filianor. Is she got an egg? 
Oh! Those eyes. Those beautiful eyes. Um. Ooh. Well, I have a theory about that egg. Humans don't hatch out of eggs, but dragons do. I think the dragon that we killed might have come out of that egg. That's some impressive growth, though. How old is Princess Filianoi? How long has she been holding that egg for? Dude, if that dragon that we killed was tied to that egg, she's going to be mad at us. All right, I'm waking you up. Touch the embraced shell. Ugh. Okay. Oh, we fucked up. <laughs> She's gonna notice. Do you think she noticed? What? What the hell just happened? What the hell just happened? Dude, this is on like the... What? Wait, what? My eye, god damn it, sorry. Um, wow, my god. That's confusing. Um, it's kind of like when you, um, you know, end up re disrupting the illusion of Guinevere and Anor Londo. And then Anor Londo, uh, the light is gone and it's just darkness. Is this kind of like that? Did we like... <clears throat> Did we just disrupt the illusion? Has it been like this the whole time? It's like a sea of ashes, dude. I wonder what happened uh, if instead of you touching the egg, you do this. Oh, maybe it does that. <laughs> you can't. It won't let you. you All right, well, there goes my theory about the egg. Or maybe it's still intact, right? Like, because this shows that maybe there could have been a substantial amount of time that's passed. So, like, there is an illusion being sustained, but she's, like... I don't know, long dead? And that dragon had time to grow big and strong. Well, how the hell are we going to go back to that area and talk to Shira and be like, Hello, we killed Medea. Because now this is kind of fucked up. And we have whatever that is in the distance. Uh, this certainly escalated. Wait. 
Oh, hang on. Is this the same? Oh. And there, there goes my theory. I'm like, we're going in there because look at the doors. The doors look like they move. I'm pretty sure that's the same building, right? There goes my theory because it's all buried in sand now. I thought I was onto something and... Really annoying. Help me, please. The Red Hood is come to eat us. To eat our dark souls. He said the name of the game. Bud, you got a crown on as well. He's come to eat our dark souls. What do you say? Red hooded guy? Hang on, what is... what is that? Yes, his head is decapitated. I was like, am I seeing that right? Is that his neck? Ew. Alright, nearly, nearly headless Nick. We, we gotcha. Okay, but I'm actually curious. What happens if we let him go all the way? Does he keep going? I'm I'm curious. I'm gonna follow I wanna follow this guy. He's 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 walking on he's walking on up there to uh to Filianor. Alright, let's talk about this. Uh Filianor and this dude both wearing like silver crown wear, right? Uh one's a princess. I don't know who this guy is. But I'm really curious to see what's gonna happen if he gets to the if he gets there. He's still going? Yeah, he's still going. Good. He is making progress, right? Like, I'm not going crazy. He's not just, like, walking on the spot. If I just stand here, he will make progress. Am I losing my mind? He's gonna, he's gonna do it, right? He's slowly getting there. Yeah. I'm gonna wait for this dude to get up, because I'm like, I'm curious. I always like to do this when I, uh, whenever I've been playing video games and there's like an NPC that's walking to a location. Usually in video games they just kind of keep walking until they disappear because they never expect you to follow them. I'm curious. He's making waves, dude. I mean, he's slowly getting there. Either he's gonna just eventually die, or he'll make it there and it'll be something. But I'm I'm willing to I'm willing to wait it out. I'm willing to wait it out. I'll take a nap and then we'll uh, we'll see if he we'll see if he gets there. So I'm gonna watch him climb up this hill and I'm gonna see if anything happens. <laughs> we're almost here. The waiting was it worth it? I'm not sure, but we're almost here. This is great. Come on, bud. You're wrong. You're, you're almost here. I'm actually surprised he hasn't just died yet and just faded away. He's almost there. Ah! Oh! Lillianor. Jesus, get the shit out of me! <laughs> me. Oh. Why does the death sound, right? Why does the death sound have to be like a sword hit sometimes? That was so loud. He didn't even get to the end. He didn't even leave anything behind. Oh. <laughs> Oh, God. Ugh. I waited so long. <laughs> I just watched that man desperately claw his way through the sand, only to die at the doorway. God damn it. My curiosity was not really rewarded, huh? But it looks like he crawled from that way, so I think that's where we need to go. So I'm going to go this way. Can I just keep going? Oh, there's a whole, there's a whole other spot here. Oh, uh, well, what if I'm going, nah, uh, I hate this. Okay, I'm pretty confident I should be going the other way. Like, that's the way I should be going, because that's where he came from. Hope so. going to say this looks like a boss I've arena searched for the dark stricken creature 
I am Shira. Oh! Daughter of the Duke, descendant of gods, and trusted friend to Medea. That's a At big once, hammer. I am the honor of the gods, the glory of fire, and the fear of the dark. Thou shalt not go unpunished for thy treachery, thy profanity, and thy shameless yearning. Dude, bosses and enemies that s oh, that speak are so much cooler than bosses who don't. That's a- what is that? That's like an axe hammer. Jesus, you're a badass. And she's got the, uh, she's got the thing. She's a female- she's a, the female knight, knight of Filianor, there you go. She's probably, uh, she's probably pierced some dragon's eyes in her time. Oh, come on. Esther's healings for the- for me and me alone! What the fuck? Stop! <laughs> She's so quick! <laughs> me being like, I'm pretty sure this is a boss arena. Oh, no. Yes, it is actually. There we go. Fuck you. Oh! Skidoosh. No! That was supposed to be a finishing move, man. You ruined it. God damn it! <laughs> can you can you stop? You're ruining my. You're... Okay, look, we both did it at the same time. I'll let it go. Ugh. But come on. Can you cancel a miracle like that? Axe. How's that? Don't you dare! Aha! You should have been looking at your HUD. I lonely kind. You should have been looking at your HUD. You obviously ran out of flasks and you weren't managing your thing. Crucifix of the Man King. Yo. Crucifix. That's what that was. I was like, hammer? Axe? Thing? Uh, did I just go past it? Hold on. Oh, there it is. A cross spear hung with a malformed corpse. <laughs> Once a mad king was born to the pygmy royalty and Shira, knight of Filianor, put him to rest. But Shira's cross spear, unable to kill the undying king, only pinned itself to him. Shira delivered them together to a dark room where she stayed and held them close. Mad King's Folly slam malformed corpse into the ground to briefly awaken it, then fillet... Fillet? Fillet? Not sure. With strong attack to trigger a roar, a blessing, or vexation. That's fucking cool. That's dark, though. It's like, hey, what if we just uh, put a malformed corpse on a weapon? Anyone? <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so there was a mad king... And Shira killed him. Well, if there's Princess Filianor, does that mean the Mad King was Filianor's uh, father? Princess Filianor's father? Right. I'm glad that we went off the beaten path. And I guess we got our closure on Shira, who was behind the door. But we did what she asked, though, right? Actually, no, we didn't. We did what she asked, and then we went against her wishes, because I'm pretty sure she asked us not to wake the princess, right? Yeah, she was like, kill Medea. <clears throat> and we did. And then she said, wake the princess. I mean, don't wake the princess. And I was like, eh, I don't know about that, bud. Kind of feels like we have to. That was cool, though. How long can I walk for? I was expecting some kind of fall off at one point, but I can just keep going. Oh, they're just gonna... okay. <laughs> they're just gonna close me in, right. Alright. That's, that's, that's fair enough. Sheer is such a, an interesting character. So a knight of Filianor who slayed the Mad King, and then was like, fuck man, this dude can't die. <laughs> What if I just attached him to my spear, 
and used him as a weapon. That's pretty fucking badass. Imagine if this was a secret. It was like, you found the secret keyhole of the sand dunes. I'm actually glad that it wasn't, because if I just ran up to a random thing in the wall and hit that, I'd be like, okay. <laughs> Very obscure. I mean, Dark Souls has surprised me. Alright, fuck. I just wasted so much time. <laughs> Why would they let me do this? This is such an open arena, though. It feels like you could just fight like a giant sandworm that just comes out of the ashes. June intensifies. Alright, let's follow the pathway of, um... What's his face? Oh. Ah, oh, here's our red hooded wonder. Oh, what? What? Still here. Oh. Hand it over, that thing, your dark soul. For my lady's painting. Man! Uh... What, Gail? You've changed! <laughs> um... No, what? Gail, bud, you got big. He's been at the gym for a little while. God, you've, you've been, he's been hitting the gym. So, he's stealing Dark Souls for the painting? <sighs> Which we still don't know her name. Just referred to her as my lady's painting. Oh, rip. He's, uh, he's got health. He's got some health. Oh, you better not. Oh, that's a... Okay, bud. Chill out, will ya? Oh. I should have made the connection with the Red Hood, to be honest. <laughs> He's so fucking mobile. My god. Oh, oh. Damn it. Oh my god. This dude has health. He's been chugging on a, one too many Dark Souls. God, you helped me against uh, Frida. Is this the blood? What the hell, man? The blood of the dark soul. Oh. But you have lost your way. Holy shit. This music. 
What the fuck? His cape has wings! You're a sly old man, and you trapped me into a painting, and I helped you! And this is how you pay me back? By trying to steal my Dark Soul. Fuck you. Oh my god. That? Uh... Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> He's got a machine gun! <laughs> He's literally got a machine gun crossbow! Destructo disc! Stop it! This dude has so much stuff! Oh god, the discs come back! Holy shit! I'm out of flasks, bad boy! Ah! <laughs> um, dude, I'm shocked. Why are you so strong, though? Oh, dude! Okay. Oh, no. Alright, that's it. We're out. We're out at this point. This is it. He's at half health, too. Oh, of course it's an AoE, for God's sake! No! What the fuck? What is this dude's arsenal? This... what the hell? This man has... Um, gained... a lot of muscle. He was but a twig when he tricked us into the painting, and then... Ah, oh, this makes sense that it's connected to the Ring City, because he was the spirit pointing us in the drag heap. But then... He, what, he just came to the Ring City looking for the Dark Soul for uh, the woman's painting? Okay. Okay. Sure. I mean, <clears throat> sure. Alright, we're gonna save... Um, oh, the fight just begins immediately, okay. Oh, that makes sense why this area is so huge. Damn. Is this the biggest boss arena in Dark Souls? Certainly feels like it. This man's got range, boy. Okay, but why do you have so much health? That's my question, sir. Oh, why didn't... Getting punished with the, for those dodges there. Something that I, ooh, something that I like that Dark Souls does is uh, there's a lot of stuff where you will get punished for dodging a bit too late because of the increase in speed of these enemies. But then the game throws a fast one on you and will actually punish you for dodging too early <laughs> and has, starts having enemies that like delay their swings. And tricky. This game has taught me how to dodge so much better than the other two. But that is also because I've forced myself to by going without a shield. But I really like it. This game has taught me how to dodge. Be so long to charge my attack, bro. There we go. Oh, there was another swing coming. Do not even. He's gonna push me up against the. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I'll take it. This is so strange. So he starts bleeding. Is this the blood of the Dark Soul? He says. Oh yeah, look, there's my stuff. Thanks. My stuff! Dude. That... 
that cape is awesome. <laughs> and he can summon lightning as well. I forgot about that. That's another thing. And he's got the machine gun crossbow. Ah! Okay, this is insane. And destructo discs. No, I was so close to cover. That man. That's impressive. That's impressive. That's impressive. He's, he's, uh, yeah. That's, it's impressive. I'm saving my ember in case I get taken completely out of, uh, flasks, so we'll see how we go. We fought alongside each other. I'm actually disappointed in him. Oh, too early. Bitch, bitch. Oh. Come on then. Oh, what the, what was that? Oh no. He does all that damage to me, and all I and all I do back is that one swing. <laughs> like, god damn it, man! This man is draining me of my resources, and I do not have the ability to fight back. Uh. Oh. Oh, ah. <laughs> no, I'm making dumb mistakes. Really dumb mistakes. Hmm. Yeah. That was stupid. Four flasks, dude. Alright, can we do it? Oh. oh, the destructo discs returning. God damn it. Oh no, okay, that's not good cover. Alright, great. Oh actually, hold on. That that one in the middle there. Oh, you can't destroy the one with the dude on it. Cool. We've got cover. Oh, never mind. Don't rely on it, though. Alright, destructive discs are coming back. Oh, what? They just appear out of nowhere. I was trying to keep an eye out for them. Oh, my God. Gale! Does he even stagger anymore? Oh my god, I don't think he. I don't think he does. Oh, that was lucky. Oh, dickhead! Oh. Oh no, AOE, AOE. Oh no, lightning! Great. This music is something else, huh? Okay, we can see where the lightning's gonna... Oh, uh... Alright, we're out. This is it.
he does stagger, he does. Oh no, 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 no! I'm dead. felt like I could have had that. Oh, I'm shaking. <laughs> took me down. He took me down to nothing. Holy crap. I thought I thought I might have had him there. I was like, could I hold on? Oh, the heart's the heart's pounding. Holy shit. Heart's pounding. That's a that's a fight. Hell yeah. Um, okay, let's do that again. I need to save my flasks for second phase. Like he's harder in second phase. Yeah, I take more damage in first phase. Oh, dude, no. Okay, focus up. Oh, you know what? I'm such an idiot. I still have my flame stone plate ring on. Like, I don't need that. I don't need that. Oh my god. I'm handicapping myself at the moment with a uh, flame stone plate ring. Damn it. Hoping I would get a stagger there, but no. I'm out of stamina, so this is fucked. Yep. <sighs> yep. Okay, I don't care where my souls are at this point. It's the least of my worries. Oh, what? I pressed B. That's so unfortunate. Oh my 
my god. Don't do it, bud. Wow. You suck! And I'm dead. Wow. Okay. Alright, let's uh let's rethink. Let's let's rethink the strategy. First and foremost. Fuck that off. Um, fuck that off too. Jesus Christ. Alright, I need to I'm gonna put on Estus Ring. And I might Should we take more damage? Um I'm actually thinking I'm either gonna do strength plus five or physical damage absorption. So I might even increase my own poise to be honest. If I do red red tear stone ring, if I get brought down to the brought down to the brink. Increase my strength. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna. Sc I don't know if that makes my damage any more though. All right, let me ha let me have a look. Uh, right weapon six forty eight. Take the ring off. Six thirty seven. It does. Mm, it goes up. It goes up. All right. I want more HP with my flask. I forget, whenever I change a ring for something strategic, I do have a problem where I forget to then change it back, and that is a pretty frequent thing. That's something I have not yet gotten into the habit of. And yes, after three games, yes. To be fair, I've only gotten used to four rings <laughs> within the past two games. And I mean, it doesn't ultimately matter in the end. Like, you can have no rings and do just fine, but um, it is a it is a mistake that I make frequently. I've got an itchy nose, dude. Come on. The timing could not be worse. <laughs> Classic. Oh, too early, bud. Too early on the on the dodge for me. I actually thought that might have been too early as well. Oh, why did I attack there? I should know that that's when he does this. Yeah, right, bud. Okay, I gotcha. I know. Oh, I braced myself for that one because I was feeling it. Pretty sure he's so close to second phase, isn't he? He's close, he's close. He's like a hit away from second phase, right? Yes, a hit away from second phase, cool. Alright, I have more flasks now, we're good. Because I'm restoring my health with them. Alright, bitch. Let's do better this time. Oh, I had no stamina to dodge that attack. Oh, don't... That's so cheap! So cheap. You should be ashamed. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, I didn't even see that one coming. That's a shame. This music is insane, dude.
Whoa, he can shoot the arrows while doing that attack? That's awesome. This is one of my favorite fights. This is insane. No, oh, dodge, bud. You need to be dodging. No! The reason why I didn't heal is because I was waiting for an opportunity to ember. Oh. That was such a dumb mistake. That was such a dumb mistake. I was gonna ember. Hmm. Yeah, I should have just healed. I should have just healed. Okay. Yeah, I got to a point where I was like, yeah, I'll use an ember now. <sighs> That's my mistake. The music in this fight is great. The move set is incredible. Like, like holy crap. The DLC boss fights are fucking insane. Like, Freed and now Gale. Uh, sorry, Freeda and Gale. My god. Oh no. Whenever I get hit multiple times in that attack, I am so embarrassed. Oh, too early on the swing, bud. I mean, too early on the dodge. Good one. Oh. <laughs> He's punishing me. Wait, did did he just cancel a swing to jump in the air and do a different swing? I didn't know you could do that. Maybe I just haven't noticed him do that before. I thought that would trigger second phase. Cool. What? Oh, what? That's how you're going to start it? Okay. Oh. No, bitch. No, bitch! Ooh, I actually thought he was going to hit me there. I shouldn't have heavy- I shouldn't have done a strong attack. I shouldn't have done a strong attack. That was the error there. That was a huge mistake. That was me being greedy. <laughs> I didn't think Gale would be like I did not think Gale would be the big boy at the end of this thing but here we are this is after Gale has qu not yet 
quenched his thirst for the Dark Soul. He's still going. Alright, let's fucking go, boy. <laughs> yeah, alright, 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 alright. That was bad. That was that was bad. That one was bad. Use flash, that was terrible. Alright. My setup is definitely much better. But Punishing me for the early dodges. Once again, sir, thank you. Oh yeah, he does do a, like, cancel. And then he jumps in the air. Oh man, I might die. Okay, we're good, we're good. And, that, and then I didn't attack when I should have, because I was anticipating a second attack. thought that might have triggered second phase. I went too early. There we go. It was one. I was one hit too early. Okay, bud. I got one more flask than I did last time. You know what that means? Nothing. Oh, they still got me. Holy shit! Okay, hold on. No, bud. No! I want his... I want his cape, and I want it to do the same stuff. <laughs> I want that. Give me the ability to have a second attack with my swing. That's awesome. It's the coolest shit. That fucking thing, man. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> You're a shithead. Don't do that. I think that's usually... That would usually be a good time to Ember. Oh, man. That would usually be a good time to Ember, but... I'm trying to save it for when I don't have much health, you know? Oh, that was lucky! I think I just avoided getting hit there. Not then. Okay, but I get it. I get it. I get it. Shit. The lightning! The lightning! No! Ah! Oh. <laughs> it's good. It's good. The, f the fact of the matter is, by the way, is I'm having so much fun. I'm having so much fun in this fight. I think it's great. This is one of my favorite boss fights. I haven't even got to the end yet. 
I don't even know if he's got more for me. That's the thing. Is I just think this is great. He's he's fucking awesome. He's a beast though. He's highlighting all of my flaws though. That's the that's the funny thing. He's teaching me a lesson. I don't have any stamina. Yeah. Yeah. I f yeah. He's he's uh yeah, he's he's teaching me a lot. He's teaching me a lot. I'm learning from it uh in some in some way shape or form. But we we getting there. They were like let's make let's make the final final boss that you deal with the, the the toughest. <laughs> let's make him let's let's make it a challenge. I never thought that like I'd be going up against the Dark Souls version of Santa Claus, you know? Even with all of that window, I still swung early. I mean, I still dodged early, even with all of that leeway. I'm, I think I'm, yeah, I'm anticipating his moves and then acting very quickly instead of seeing his move and then acting appropriately. That's not how we were supposed to start this one. Hmm. I don't know where... That's the thing with his attacks. See, I don't know when a second attack is coming, because the the animations are all the same. He's he's uh, he's a tricky one. Sometimes he'll swing once. Sometimes he's like, yeah, have another one. Now that sucked. That sucked. That was supposed to be flashy on my part, but not yours. He's just playing with me. He's fucking playing with me, dude. How did I miss there? That was like right on him. Damn, man. We were so I would have got that second phase with that swing. He said, bitch, you thought. That cape of yours, sir. Fucking cape of yours. Too early. No stagger. Uh, 
da 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 God, that was a lot at once.
that, um, the fight before that, um, I really should have done at least one R1 attack. And then he was, if I did that swing attack last, I should have done an R1, hit him, waited for an opening and done that final weapon art. And I think that would have been the victory, but I, I got too greedy at the end. I thought I might have had it with that final swing and I paid for it. Which sucks, unfortunately, but you know, we, we, we work hard. We get in there. It's just time to get serious, you know. Around bad there. That's right. I hate that move. I hate that move, man. That move is pain. Hang on, what? He's never done that before? Or I just haven't noticed? What? He moves? He teleports? What? When did that happen? When does he do that? What the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, bud. Some stamina back, please. Come on. I thought that might have been a stagger. That was not. He boxed me in. I was like, go right, or and it's a lightning strike. Go left, and it's his sword. Clever boy. Uh, it's hard when I, I don't know when the second swing's coming. Oh, and there's a third swing! God damn it, man. That's such a cool move.
and there it is and there it is soul of slave night gale and blood of the dark soul there it is should i put on the shield of want for that yes did i have enough time to process my, my brain cells no oh boy that's a dark looking soul if i ever seen one soul of slave night gale the red hooded wandering slave night gale sought the blood of the dark soul as pigment for the painted world, but Gale knew he was no champion, that the Dark Soul would likely ruin him, and that he had little hope of a safe return. Wow. See, so he fell to darkness on his journey to get the Dark Soul uh, for uh, for the for his lady, uh, for that girl. Does that mean we should go back to the painted world and talk to her? and see if she has anything else to say. I mean, it's specifically tied to the painting. So the two DLCs are actually kind of linked somehow. Blood of the Dark Soul. Blood of the Dark Soul that seeped from the hole within Slave Knight Gale, used as pigment by his lady in Ariandel to depict a painted world. When Gale came upon the Pygmy Lords, he discovered that their blood had long ago dried and so consumed the Dark Soul. Uh, I'm going to take a big old bet and say we should go back to that painting in the, in the painted world, huh? Oh, man. I got taken down to one flask. There were some, there were some really, really close calls in there that I wish... I wish were my victories, because they would have been so nice. There were some really good moments that I would have loved a victory in, but that was okay. That's okay. Because we got there in the end. Um, what a what a great fight. He had some he had some moves. He had some goddamn moves he was pulling out of his ass, that's for sure. <laughs> Is there more to this place? Look at that, see? This is the place that I was like, yeah, we can go there. What an arena, though. Like, a huge, huge arena to fight Gale in. Um, I guess... It looks like everywhere we are, we're surrounded by walls. Uh, we should go. Um, back to Firelink Shrine to level up, I guess. And then... I'm going to assume we go to the Painted World. Um, another thing that I was thinking, I might just go here, I'll just travel <laughs> instead, is can we check in on this person? Our Princess Filianor? Nope. Alright, uh, let's go back to Firelink. Slave Knight Gale, the final thing to give us soul of the... Well, let's be, let's have a look at this transposition and see what we get. And then I want the handmaiden to be like, here, here's this cool-ass cloak that does double damage when you swing your sword. That would be great. Damn it. No. As if, that would be so cool. Oh, well. Oh well, and I can't give her the because the blood is not the blood is not like an ashes scenario. Okay. Ashen for the link. Very well then taken. So I think we might have to go give it to the girl. It seems pretty clear judging by the whole uh, fact that the whole reason he went there was for Ashen. the blood of uh, the dark soul as pigment. Uh, let's cash in these as well. Ah. And then I guess we'll get some sort of resolution and it's like, oh yeah, Gale, he did this thing. Blah, blah, blah. Good on Uncle Gale. Shame that he lost himself to madness. Because uh, he really did. Ashen one. Um, actually, let me have a look. Uh, our Cinders of Ludleth. 
because uh, we can have a transposition. Let's have a look. Um, Slave Knight Gale, Gale's Greatsword. Oh. Yes, Gale's Greatsword. A Greatsword of Slave Knight Gale, the only weapon that he kept with him from beginning to end. Originally an executioner's sword made for decapitation, this blade is heavily chipped and stained with the blood of countless battles. Blade of Peril, a precarious technique unique to Undead Gale, leap in any direction, slamming the Greatsword to the ground, and then follow with a normal attack for a large spitting slash, or a strong attack to backstep and jump forward in an overhead slam. Well, it is a great sword. It does cost 20,000 souls as well. Uh, what else we got for you, bud? Anything else? But the repeating crossbow. Look at that! That is that is amazing. The crossbow, customized for repeat firing to face mobs alone, was wielded by Slave Knight Gale. Used in battles of an endless journey, this crossbow was covered with twists and dinks, re rusted with blood, and made extremely brittle from overuse. Assume stance to activate repeat firing mechanism and repeat fire with normal uh, and strong attacks. That's so cool. Um, however, the Great Sword is the one that we should be going for. Let's buy it. Let's buy it. Ashen, for me. And Very then, well, then we'll take put me. another level into this one. Twelve hundred vitality. Ashen one. And then I'm going to reinforce Gale's great sword. Right. Just wasn't it? With Andre. Uh, actually, what's that thing? You can't infuse the... Oh. You can't infuse um, the Ringed Knight Paired Greatswords. There you go. Oh well. Valor Heart as well. Alright, Gale's Greatsword needs Titanite Scales. Wait, Titanite? Oh yeah, Titanite Scales. And then a Titanite Slab. Bubble. Nice, max that boy out immediately. And I'll max up my Exile Greatsword. Well, I'm at it. Exile Greatsword's cool. I like it. I haven't really used it in a while, but I like it. It's cool. It's a great time. Right. Pretty, I go. <laughs> so that's all I can be bothered for at this point in time. So it does less, but I mean, that's to be expected. But it weighs a lot less, too. Um, and then. This does. Less scaling damage by like a lot, but that's. Oh, actually, what if we make it a heavy exile greatsword? Ah, can we do that? We can. Oh, I don't have. Oh no, it's the first one. Ooh. Okay. So twenty less damage, but a hundred more scaling damage. There you go. So check that out. A heavy exile greatsword. Like that. Um, and now I lose I effectively lose 20 damage but I gain you know a little bit less a little bit less weight which is cool but that's fine I like it I got variety for when I want to swing around big hunking piles of metal <laughs> and iron Great. Uh, okay, where are we going? Back to the Ariandel Chapel. And be like, hey, we got this blood that your uncle gave himself up and lost himself to madness uh, to get. Here you go. Was this all on fire before? I thought it was only down below that was on fire. Huh. Here you go. I've forgotten. Hello? Hello? I come with great tidings. Oh! Yeah, the fire has spread. 
so the fire has spread. It is up here now. Wow. Um. All right, let's talk first. Ashen one, thy gift of flame has taken root, and Uncle Gale will soon bring the pigment. Uh. Colored like the dark soul of man. Unfortunately, I. I wonder if Uncle Gale has found it. Yes. The pigment colored like the dark soul of man. So I'm pretty sure because we, when we got into the second phase, he was bleeding and he was like, is this the blood off the dark soul? So I think we got, I think need, like killing him allowed us to have the pigment uh, that he went after. I wonder the pigment. My thanks, Ashen One. With this, Will I paint a world? Maybe it's not Please over. Tell me thy name. I would name this painting after thee. I have no. No, we got a name. We got a name. My thanks. I will paint a world of that name. It will be a cold, dark. Home. That's wild. What's it going to be called? Land of Sigmund? Land of Sigmund? I wonder when Uncle Gale intends his return. I hope the new painting will be to him a gentle home. Oh, wow. My thanks, Ashen One. I will assuredly finish the painting. Okay. Of a cold, dark, and very gentle place. One day, it will make someone a goodly home. Hmm. Okay. So... We've given... The blood of the dark soul to her. So she's going to do a painting and name it after me. It's very curious that the the ending of the Ring City DLC ties into the Painted World DLC. That's really cool that they're connected. But um, and I I guess that's it. Interesting. I mean, I thought there would be something with the, this painting. Do I have to like go somewhere and then come back? Maybe I'll leave and then come back and then she's quickly zip zap zopped a painting out of existence and then we can proceed is, is or are we at the end uh, okay now let's go back traveling away might be what we need to do so the fire spread up there she's got the pigment and she's doing a painting that she hopes can be uncle gail's home um, while also naming it after me. I wonder what would have happened if I said I have no name. Hello, have you finished the painting? No. My thanks, I will have a one day. I guess we are done. I guess I guess we're done. That's it. Just like because obviously you know DLC comes after. It's not going to roll credits or anything. So you know you get your ending once we've already done. Uh, <laughs> once we uh, beat the soul of Cinder. Um, wild. Cool. All right. I uh, I guess I guess that's it. I'm, I'm tired after this journey. Look at that. Oh, I might take a snooze. Look at that. Dark Souls 3. <laughs> what an adventure. What a trip. My god. I... 
I am, I'm so grateful for this playthrough and, and for those of you that have come along with me this has been absolutely fantastic I've loved loved uh, going on this journey uh, with you guys the Ashen One can finally rest <laughs> you can finally rest we did it um, I'm yeah I don't I don't like almost like lost words at this point um, one of my favorite boss fights and and right at the end uh, so that was that was really really cool um, Slave Knight Gale took a took a turn for the worse, unfortunately. But I guess there'll be a painting. Um, there it is. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Um, I, I thank you so much to all of you who have supported me over the course of this playthrough. It's been absolutely wonderful um, to have gotten to this point where we've completed the Dark Souls trilogy. Uh, and I like to think that I've I've come a pretty long way. I'm not a perfect player in, by any means, and I make a lot of mistakes. But uh, you know, starting in January of this year, it's been it's been pretty crazy. Uh, a nine month journey so far of uh, of Dark Souls, ending in Dark Souls three, and then we've got the rest of the Soul series to come, where we've got Bloodborne and Sekiro and Demon Souls. And soon Elden Ring will be released, and that's going to be so fun to play as soon as that releases, uh, so I can play it for the first time along with you guys, which is going to be which is going to be super exciting. So I guess with that one, guys, thank you so much for watching the Dark Souls Three playthrough. It's been really special. It's been really special. Um, I have actually received a uh, a warning from my uh, from my mod team that. The Dark Souls 3 lore for Vati Vidya, because this game came out after Bloodborne, is there are Bloodborne spoilers in some of Vati's lore videos. Uh, so we are actually going to hold off on doing Vati's lore reactions to Dark Souls 3 at this time. Usually we've traditionally done it at the end of a Dark Souls playthrough, absorbed the lore. Um, but what I can do pretty sure what I can do, I'll, I'll confirm it, is we should be able to do the Prepare to Cry Remastered series, because that did come up um, for Dark Souls Remastered after this game came out. So I think we'll be safe to do a Vati reaction to uh, Prepare to Cry Remastered, um, and then we might have to leave the Dark Souls 3 lore until after Bloodborne, um, just to be safe. But guys, thank you so much for watching this playthrough of Dark Souls 3. And I will see you in the next video. Um, the game's not over. <laughs> the game's not over. Um, so I went and bragged. I went and bragged to my mods that it was done. And I was like, Medea was just a fucking random ass dragon. But Gale was awesome. And there's your answer. Uh, so it looks like it looks like I've actually got some exploring to do. So I've I must have missed I've I've missed a pathway. So we just killed uh, we just killed a random ass dragon. So I think we were like baited into thinking that I guess we were baited into thinking that dragon we killed was Medea. I guess it does make sense that, considering Medea was named, that it would have been a boss fight. I think I just got caught up in the excitement that I was like, wow, this is like a really strong, cool looking dragon, so that's... Medea. There you go. Okay, so we actually have more to do. Uh, so all I've, you know, all I've been told, as I just showed you, was Medea is actually a boss in a hidden part of the city. So it's a hidden path. Uh, so time for me... Uh, to have a look, I guess, <laughs> and uh, and see what we can find. So I'm gonna explore. Um, actually, I am reminded of this. Actually, there was a gate here that was closed on the other side. So it might be around this way because remember in a previous, the last episode where I was like, "Oh, cool, we finally opened that gate," and I was like, "Nope." There's a gate here that's locked from the other side. So we do have, we do have more. Okay, there is more. Um, cool. Uh, I'm gonna explore. I feel like this is at least a breadcrumb of a clue to start with. Is this door? So 
Uh, there's also a lift. But... Uh, so we have to find a lift to then take down here to open this gate. Okay, so I don't know. This might just be a shortcut that I missed, but we'll, I'll start here and, and see what I can do. The game continues. I said my farewells and I got my wish of, hey guys, I never want this game to end. It's at least been extended gracefully for a little bit. So <laughs> uh, I'll take a look around and see what else I can find. I think it's funny how things work out sometimes. Oh God. Not like that. <laughs> I think it's funny how things work out sometimes, he says. Um, where I didn't even realize that this... Look, that's that spot there. I completely forgot that it's, like, located from here. Can I just, um... And whoever was here before, creepy person, I don't think is here anymore. Can I just put on the silver cat ring and, like, drop down there and survive? <laughs> uh, the lift is up. So I was actually... Oh, no, you are still here. Many of us abide. I speak of thine. Behold this city. Fear not the dark and let the fear. So weird. Um, so the lift is actually up the top. So if we have to ride the lift down, I mean, it might be up here. So I've actually gone backwards. Oh, right. This fucking, this dude. Yep. Also, by the way, this sword is awesome. This sword is so cool. Oh, it's still going. This sword is great. Like, the weapon arts on this is like... Wham! Like, the fact that you just press the... Uh... Oh, I almost died. Uh, the fact that you press the... Uh, left stick and you just go for a like, nice little journey um, with that swing is great um, so it feels like the because this had an item I think we already tested these walls um, And, like, there's the whole pathway that was here, but I don't think it's going to be... I'm not sure if we missed anything, but I'm taking a walk around. Because it just drops us down to here. I don't know if there's a drop around here. There was an item here. But I'm just trying to place the location, because the lift takes us down to that bonfire that's protecting that thing. Like, part of me is even questioning its relevance at this point, because I'm like, maybe we just find a lift and it just takes us there and it's a shortcut, but that's kind of, again, one of the only plot threads I have. It doesn't really seem connected, though. This, however, like, I, I'm still wondering if we can get over there, because, like, we should be able to open that door, maybe in this, before it uh, gets covered in ash. Like, that stands out to me, that doorway. Uh, but I don't know what else we've got. Like... Don't know if I want to just kill a random NPC just for looking suspicious. <laughs> um, that's not a wall. Because, yeah, if I take a look... Oh, man. Stop it. So the bonfire's here. The lift is there. Does it... It does go... Does it go up? Like, that's the... That's the thing. All these things look like it could potentially house, like, a, a wall, but I don't know. Uh, this isn't a wall. Just like the <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm working on it. I was thinking it would be maybe potentially up there, but it's, it's not. It's a, it is a work in progress, unfortunately, but I'm, I might give up on this area. 
I might give up on this area and try somewhere else. Uh, it might be even, like, it might be near... It might be near where we fought this other dragon. So we'll see how we go. Uh, something, something that I remembered um, is there was that room with um, that's the statue in the middle that had an item. We still haven't figured that out. I assume that would be like the way to figure that out would be located nearby that room. So having we'll have a look at that, see if that like leads us anywhere. So that goes up here. Yeah, we have this. So this still hasn't done anything. We can't get to the What? This wasn't here before. Was it? Fuck. This wasn't here the whole time, was it? Uh, please tell me this wasn't here the whole time. Oh, well, there's my answer. That only, okay, that only solves this. Oh, God. So this was a this was a lift that went up, not down. Okay. Oh, that's so dumb. Okay, well I mean we've solved that problem, so there was a lift. Oh, hang on. There's a There's a ledge, hold on. That still doesn't solve that. What's that? Seriously? Hey, how did I do this when I walked in? I walked in here and went, wow, this is really cool, figure this out. I even looked at this wall. Oh my god. My observation skills are a sight to behold. Oh my god. I don't do it on purpose. That's so... that's annoying. I'm sorry to how many of you yelled at the screen. Oop, there you go. I'm sorry to how many of you probably yelled at the screen. Because that's... that's so dumb. Okay, so there's a ledge. It's an item. An ember. Uh, there's another pathway. Oh, that just makes me feel so silly. Uh, there is a pit. Oh, this is how we get the item. Nice. There we go. Sick. What is it? Oh, yes, okay. Chloranthia ring plus three. Nice. Um, let me take off my... I don't need the curse ring because I was protecting myself against those curse robed boys. Chloranthia ring plus three. Nice. Oh, that's beautiful. What's our... Beautiful. Okay. Um, okay, so that takes us to... That's a shortcut. It takes us to another item. Um, hmm, that's wild. Okay, so we got that. That's great on my lovely journey. Um, I'm dumbfounded by this. That's so, that's just literally an open doorway. It's not even hidden. Um, so we, that lift takes us to a bonfire. Uh, we got an ember and a chloranthy ring by dropping down that pit. Perfect. <laughs> well, I'm going to keep looking. Um, yeah, I thought it might be located somewhere around the dragon. I am, I'm going to figure it out because it doesn't seem like I'd be able to fight a dragon in there, but I'm, I feel like it's that. I feel like where there's a way, like maybe we, the little demon guys, they'll pick us up and take us up there, but we'll see how we go. I'm going to keep running around and exploring until I can, until I can get more answers. Oh, I will say, guys, we are not, we are not having much, much luck. I have been roaming, <laughs> I've been roaming the lands, looking for something. Um, I'm, ha I'm having dinner now, trying to figure this out. I'm getting there. Um, 
eating a nice burger, you know. Burger's always good for brain power, right? It's good for the good for the noggin. So I'm running around. It's hidden. So I'm assuming it might be illusory wall related. And that's kind of like the current train of thought. Is it might be hidden behind a wall. Which is very interesting, considering Shiro was like, hey, take on Medea for me. And it's a hidden boss. So I think that's like sort of maybe that's supposed to be what how you think it's supposed to go is Shira's like, hey, can you go take care of that dragon, Medea? And you do. You kill the dragon. And then you think nothing less of it. Only for it to be a red herring. It's not even it's not even Medea, it's just a dragon. So we're gonna find a hidden pathway. It might be there is that area with those big boys that leads into the swamp that we kind of sprinted through, so we might be missing something in that area. Um, like, I feel like I've I've been in every area so far except for this boss, so I've obviously walked past the area. The search will continue, and lucky for you guys, you get to just skip to the part where I discover it. <laughs> I still have to search for it. I've thought of a brilliant idea uh, in this room because I I came back here and I'm like, look, we went. I was like, maybe I'll check in here again because we saw in here that it was literally just an ember. But like, look at this. What if, right? What if? Because it's related to a dragon. If we do path of the dragon. And then a dragon eats us. Damn it. Okay. That's a no. How cool would that have been? Like a follow-up. Like a secondary use for the <laughs> for the part of the dragon gesture. This room seems to be important though. This statue doesn't have a sword. Why is this one missing a sword, though? Mm, actually... Dude, I was getting all like fucking. I was getting cryptic, so I was like, we're going after a dragon. That would have been awesome. I mean, we've gotten lucky with it before, which was great. Is that. Okay. Another spear ornament. Okay. Well, we have a ladder. I mean, we could be onto something. Or it's just going to be another secret. That's unrelated, and I'm on a wild goose chase. Antiquated plain garb and violet wrappings. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, antiquated garb and violet wrappings. Ordinary garb from an ancient land of sorcery, the gold embellishments betray a faint residue of magic, but this clothing was never intended for battle. When a mission visited the ringed city long ago, one of its younger missionaries elected to stay behind. It was he who became the last recorded spear of the church. Oh, so this was, um, this is the boss that we, that boss battle against the Justicar, with Justicar dude, who, by the way, that dude hasn't shown up again. He just disappeared, right? So that was weird. That Justicar dude is gone. 
Oh, dude. Oh, no. If this is tied to the Spear of the Church... If this is tied to the Spear of the Church, um, we are probably going to be fighting Justicar? I don't know. But that's not who I'm expecting, because I was in, I was it, I was nudged that there's one boss left. Mind you, I didn't actually mention to my mods about the whole just a car thing, so we'll see. These arm wrappings sewn with violet cloth and embroidered with gold thread were intended to every for in everyday use, yet they served well enough in many a battle in wreathing the arms of one who would go on to embrace the sword. Um it's possible that, that just a car dude could be here instead, big boy. All of the statues are looking towards this. This sword doesn't do anything. Oh, hang on. Um, oh! I... Oh, I didn't mean to actually drop. <laughs> I was going to look, but I've fallen and I can't get up. Oh, fuck. Well, it's not just a car... Uh, what's his face, is it? It is a dragon. Hang on. It's the same dragon! It's the... It's the same dragon! No! Holy shit! Except now he's pissed off! It's the same... Okay, so we did fight Medea before. There you go. Oh, he's strong. Hello. Hello, health bar. I'm going for your feet. I realized I'm probably using the wrong sword as well, because I was just cut I was just playing around. Okay. Hey buddy. Is he weaker on the head? He is weaker on the head. Oh that sucks. He's weaker on the head, just like um King of the Storm. Okay, go for the head. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> so we... Ah, oh, so that means we fought Dark Eater on the bridge, and when we attacked him, we knocked him off the cliff and he fell down here. Okay. That makes sense. Dude, you hit hard. Yeah. Me your head. Oh. Dark Eater Medea. So that's his full name. Oh. Oh shit. I'm a bit. <laughs> Get out of harm's reach. Oh my god. Okay, look, it might actually just be easier to smack his, uh, to smack the feet. Who knows? Oh, bud. Oh no! Oh, I thought he was going to do a tail slam. Holy shit, man. This isn't the right sword, but we'll make do. I wanted to... I'm trying to get that... Oh, no. Hmm. I wanted to get that weapon arts off so badly. Yeah! Oh, that does, like, no damage. Okay. That kind of sucks. Alright, don't do... Don't bother doing weapon arts. It's lame. Just go for the head normally. Yeah, bitch. Oh. I'm 
honestly, if he did a tail slam there, that would be so perfect. Not for, for him, not for me. I'd hate it, but like, it would certainly make sure a, a lot of damage would be getting done to me. No, what? I thought I got out of that. Shit. Oh, that was huge. How did I avoid that? I thought that hit would have hit me. Gee, oh! Fuck, bro. Okay, you just got so much more aggressive. I want your head. On a silver platter, bud. What? Again? Alright, I'm going for the tail while you're here. Never mind. <laughs> I was going for the tail. Alright, we're out, boys. That's it. And I'm already embered too, so this is it. What the fuck? Oh. Come on, dude. <laughs> He's an aggressive dragon, huh? No! I shouldn't have attacked him! Ugh. I shouldn't have attacked three times. I should have only attacked twice. Ah! Oh! That music is... that music is intense. That's insane. Okay. Darky to Medea it is. Dark Eater Medea it is. We found him. Wonderful. <laughs> um, I actually love this sword though. Um, it's cool. But yeah, that weapon art is not doing anything anything for me. It's not doing anything for me. Should we beat him with the Fume Ultra Great Sword instead? <laughs> give it a go shall we we were we were close though um we were close um we've got cloranthi ring so i'm we'll keep the shield of wonton all right this time what i get to do is i get to save the ember for if i run out of flasks So like I was like, yeah, can we have a look? And then you you slip. That you actually fall. It's funny because I was gonna go right up to the edge, but yeah, you slip. Oh no, he wakes up much earlier now. Okay. Music time. Oh, my souls. Over there, Jesus. Oh, I don't know if I can be bothered, but we'll see. Okay. How much souls do I have? Oh, no, nah, that's not worth it. Okay, this does, like, similar damage. It does a little more, obviously. Oh, it does a little more. Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh. Oh, <laughs> shit. Multiple directions. Oh, my God. Sir, I'm sick of it. Oh no, I'm dead. I'm not dead, but like... Actually, I should probably put my Estus ring back on, but... Ah! 
And my flame, my stupid flame protection ring. Oh my god. Holy crap, this is so epic. Oh, yep, he's just trampling me, that's fine. Yeah, okay, bud. Oh, I was gonna go for the tail, but it's up in the air. Okay. Alright, you need to chill. No! 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 Let me... Oh my god. The camera. Yes. Yes. No! Oh. Alright, we actually got away from it that time. Oh no, and again. Again. Ugh. Oh, shit. Ah, bruh. Medeer! Oh, I dodged too early. That sucks. I'm so glad that it doesn't have like a whole gaping dragon type thing where if you even touch the gaping dragon while he's charging, you're fucked. You like get killed. Um, so I'm glad that you can run and follow him. It's nice. Oh shit. Oh, that was, uh, that's a, that's a death. Alright, chief. I only really do R1 attacks against him. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> All the sparks. Yeah. I can only do R1 attacks because I don't know if I'm going to be able to charge up an attack in front of him because he really just goes for it. the Medea experience. That certainly feels... Hang on. I think the so I think... I think the tail's weak as well. No. It's just that I'm doing more damage with this sword. Yeah. Okay, we can do a charge attack, it's just extremely hard. <laughs> and will most likely result in my death. Yeah, it will result in my death. Cool. We can do a charged attack. I don't think it's worth it. Um, yeah, it's not worth it. Alright, buddy. Shall we try this again? Look at those wings. I got munched on. Oh my god, the fire, dude. Ah, oh, always on the tail end. You love that move, don't you? That's your favorite. That's your favorite move. <laughs> no! 
It still did less damage because I didn't hit him exactly in the right spot. gonna stand back here. Oh no, he's not doing the fire breath this time. Okay. Oh, the tail swing. Yep. Oh, the, the charge thing. Yep. Oh, I went too early. Let me go. leg shots. Huh? Go again. Doing that move. Oh, what? I swear I was far away. I don't know. That one, that one's uh, a bit all, bit all over the place. Come on, bud. Better than this. Better than this, Medea. Or am I better than this? Who knows? You're just wildly flailing. Get yourself under control. Oh, God's sake. Alright. This is poor at this point. This is poor performance. Dude! That's fucking fire attack! Holy shit! When does he do it? Dragon Slayers hate him! Find out his secret. Yeah, take that to the face. <gasps> I'm dead. the dodges baby but I mean I'm so dead after this I got what are you doing what are you doing what are you doing oh it's this oh no for god's sake all right I got nothing left this is it I got nothing left oh why did I dodge This is a dragon fight, that's for sure. Like, holy crap. But I'm over here. I'm over here. Oh, I was... I thought that would work. <gasps> no! <sighs> for God's sake, that, sh that fire attack is the bane of my existence. And that too. And I'm dead. I had accepted my fate at that point. I had accepted my fate at that point in time. Oh my god, you fucking stupid fire ability is the only thing that I hate. <laughs> like, he just does it when he feels like it. He's doing it again. That's your fan favorite move, is it? You bastard. My stupid RB button. Yeah, it doesn't work when I'm... F when I'm... <laughs> Alright, black flame time. Cool. Yep. Yeah. Go for it. Yep. Yeah. Go for it. Give me a face. Yeah, ugly mug. Oh, yep. Not that close.
Ah, uh, dodging into him in the fucking abyss shit. Oh, uh, what? I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. That just should not be allowed. gave up by scratching my shoulder. <laughs> okay. Yep. Oh, that's cool. I was, see, I was preparing for his fire attack and he didn't even do it. Oh my god. <laughs> I was prepared for him to jump up in the air and do his fire breath that he loves so much because it's his favorite pastime. But no, he didn't do it. Oh, wow. You suck! It's that fire move, that one fire move that he chooses to do whenever he fucking feels like it. Ah, oh, it almost makes me wish that I fought um, Medea before Gale, because Gale was such an amazing boss fight to end on. He was so good. And Medea is just pain. <laughs> He's like, hey, I've got, uh, I've got a lot of health like Gale. But I'm so much less interesting and way more erratic in my attacks. He's just attack lots, make player suffer, boss. Rampage around the whole arena. Big bosses are interesting like that. I think my I think my favorite boss fights. Uh, my favorite boss fights are against uh, people of similar size, right? I really like it when I'm uh, like one on one with an with an opponent that's like similar in size to me. Like one of my favorite boss fights in Dark Souls 2 is against Cyrilon. Um, my f my favorite boss fights are not against dragons. I press the B button and I am too slow. And that is my fault for drinking the juice. What can I do? I gotta drink the juice to live. How's that, bitch? And then sometimes he re he recovers from that way too quickly, and then other times not, and I'm able to run right to his face. Yeah, whatever. Yep, whatever. It ain't no thing. It ain't no thing. I've only done nothing to his health. <laughs> I've only done nothing. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you, sir! Bastard. 
Oh, I paid the price for fucking spamming R1. I paid the price. Again? Again. Sprint to catch up, and then we'll miss, and then we'll get smacked. Like, then we'll do the fire move, and I'm stuck on his leg. And then I'll miss his tail, and then we'll swing his tail around, run up to his head. Oh, just get it. And then we'll do the fire move, right? And it's right on me. Smack the nailed head. Charge. Yep. Oh, yep, that's not what I thought you were going to do, but go off, I guess. And that. And one of those, for good measure. And, oh. Okay. And that's a hit. Yep. I attacked instead of dodging. That was an interesting brain fart. Come on, bud. too early for some reason. Oh. <laughs> you just gotta laugh at that point, don't you? You just gotta laugh at that point. Pretty epic, dude. Pretty epic abyss. The epic stuff. Again, I accidentally attacked when I should have stayed my hand. J 
you're gonna do, bitch. Oh, you're gonna do that? Yep, that's that's a, that's certainly a move to do. I would do that too if I was a fire-breathing asshole. Yeah, watch it. Oh yeah. Oh cool. Yeah, look at that. Fucking cool move. Yep, that's cool. <laughs> yep, cool move, bud. We get it. You're a dragon. And you're annoyed that I beat you. So now you're gonna be even worse. Just remember who knocked you off that cliff in the first place, bud. It was me. Oh! What? Oh, yes! Fuck you! Fuck you! That's right! Who's your dad? It's me, you bitch! Spears of the Church, Soul Eater of Dark Eater Medea. We did it. We did it. That's it. That's Dark Souls 3. Now I collapse with all the other dead bodies in here. Oh, we did it. There we go. Wonderful. Oh, lovely. And now this place is our tomb. Dragon cave. Lovely. Okay. We did it. We got some cool stuff as well. Um, we got... We got... Soul of Dark Eater Medea. A uh, descendant of Archdragons was raised by the gods, and owing to his immortality, he was given a duty to eternally battle the Dark, a duty that he would never forget, even after the gods perished. Um, okay, was it an item somewhere? What did we just get? I'm looking for it. Is it a weapon? I see sometimes you find something, you're just like, what the hell did I just pick up? Is it a ring? Oh, there's a covenant. Oh, Spears of the Church. Alright, it's a covenant item. Uh, a green rusted ornament of young grass, the crest of Princess Filianor. Equipped to join the Spears of the Church Covenant. The Spears of the Church watch over the princess's slumber, and when the church is compromised by a trespasser, the Judicator summons them as loyal spirits to eliminate the threat. Okay, so that's what the Judicator's for. Uh, loyal spirits summoned as Spears of the Church are granted a blessing of protection. Wonderful. That's it. Oh, actually, hang on. There's a bonfire here, right? I should... We defeated a boss, so there's a bonfire. And now I can head back. Lovely. Okay, Medea was just a little bit of a pain in the ass there. Is a little bit of a pain in the ass there. That was a that was a little bit of an annoying fight. <laughs> a little bit of an annoying fight. Uh, there we go. Okay, so Ducky to Medea was actually before Gale as well. There you go, tucked away, hidden, for us to defeat. Um, so I've got my final one hundred eighty thousand. For the link. Um, and I can see what Soul of Dark Eater Medea will give us as well. Let's have a look. What does the Soul of Dark Eater Medea give us? Assuming it would be like I was... yeah. Oh, what? Old Moonlight. I thought it would have been like a, a dark sorcery. A memory of an old sword found deep within Medea. This sorcery uses souls to grant form to the thought and attack with it. Attacks are coupled with light waves and sustaining the stance before attacking increases their speed and potency. The sword is named after Moonlight, but it is slightly different than the one fashioned of the Pale Drake Seath. Perhaps it is rooted in an older memory from not long after the beginning. Wow, that's an interesting one. Okay. And then, uh, there we go, a frayed blade. This once, the once exquisite blade is now stained black and frayed at the hilt. Without its sheath, it will soon crumble into nothing. Assume a holding stance in which a normal attack sends a shockwave along the earth and a strong slash commences, oops, commences a series of slashes. 
And that's it. Wonderful. Guys, with that one, that finally brings the Dark Souls 3 <laughs> playthrough to an end. So as we were here before, I thought we were done. And then there was more. And we did it. So with that one, guys, that does bring the Dark Souls 3 playthrough to a close. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the playthrough as a whole or you're enjoying the content on the channel, I'd love to have you here in this community. So please do consider subscribing and all of that nonsense, all of that YouTube nonsense so I can keep pushing through and building this community because it's been absolutely amazing so far. It's uh, almost one in the morning, so it is time for me to go to bed and to bring this playthrough to a close. I appreciate you guys immensely for the support on this playthrough. Uh, again, thank you so, so much. Um, and I will be seeing you in the upcoming Bloodborne playthrough when I do uh, when I do start the game. It's not going to be immediately, so don't burn me at the stake for that. It's not going to be immediately, but Bloodborne will be next. Uh, so I'm very, 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 very excited to start that one. Uh, it's going to be a hell of a time. So with that one, guys, I bid you farewell. Thank you so much for tuning into this playthrough. It's been a ride. I'm sad that it's over. Uh, but the Dark Souls trilogy has been absolutely spectacular. Uh, with that one, guys, again, thank you. And I will see you next time.